Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this inverter generator 800 watts from Parkside. The model PISE800A1. Digital inverter technology, sturdy, distortion free, sinusoidal voltage as if you are on the grid. Max power output 800 watts. Max rated power during continuous operation 700 watts. Displacement 56 cc, engine power max 1.3 kilowatt or 1.7 horsepower. Accessories included with a 3 year warranty. So let's open the box and find out more about this product and how we can use it. Wow, <laughs> I like it! On a green and black color. Included we have uh, screws, screwdriver, the carry handle, and the spark plug wrench. And of course we have the, and the manual. Nice. You need to install the handle here with these two screws. Included the screwdriver, I like that. Lift. Here we have the tank cover. And I just cut myself. Why it is so sharp here? Oh my god, seriously now, you are doing sharp this area where I need to touch and remove the cover for the tank. Who is in charge on the manufacturer process? Idiot! So let's move on because my video it didn't start so well. <laughs> okay, removing uh, the protective film for the shiny metal, shiny sharp metal. There it is. And inside we have uh, and the filter. You can insert the fuel. I think the regular gas 95 it is okay. That is the fuel that I will insert inside. Now let's see one by one what we have at the front. The oil warning indicator, the operating display and the overload indicator, the on-off switch, cover it with silicone uh, rubber, here it is the fuel valve, on position and off position, here it is the chuck and of course and the socket 230 volts, only one socket and here we have and the filter the air filter with this sponge. At this side it is the engine cover, the pull cable starter and of course you can remove the engine cover, one, two, three, four screws. Let's do that. It says 95 decibel, some warnings, high voltage, here is the cover, remove it, 
At this side of the engine we have the oil dipstick. Unscrew and remove. I need to fill with oil the engine. It is empty. 280 ml the maximum. 15W40 it is the type. I will do that later. Here I can see we have one tube. I need to remove and from the other side. We can see how it looks. And then install again the cover with the four screws. And from the other side we have and the other cover. I need to use again the screwdriver and remove these four screws. Some warnings, don't use it inside at the home. And there is the funnel, <laughs> hide it inside. Use it to insert the gasoline at the tank. Here it is the spark plug connector. Pull that and here we have the spark plug. If anytime soon you need to replace the spark plug, you have the key, insert that inside and with this key just remove the spark plug. Now there is no need to remove right now the spark plug, maybe at the future, and then the connector press and it locks. Here it is the air inlet from the filter and the exhaust pipe. And here it is on the carburetor. Moving at the chalk from the front, you can see here. As for that, let's install and the cover again. Now let's insert and the oil at the engine. At the front we have in the ground if you want to use. It is empty. I need to insert 280 ml of oil. The funnel, elastic. Insert the tube. It is 1 liter, 15W40, you can measure at the back, take your time. A little bit more, don't overfill with oil. I think it's okay. As I mentioned, don't overfill. Now to remove some of the oil, insert again this funnel at the oil container. Okay. Perfect. Clean the area and secure. Insert the cover with the four screws. And now we need gasoline. Inside it has the fuel level indicator, this red, together with a filter. I will use only the funnel, this elastic, the gasoline.
3 liters it is the maximum I have 3 liters here so I think we will be okay Nice, sell it very well, clean around all the area. So to start set the on off switch at the on position, then the fuel valve at the on here and then you need to have uh, the chalk at this position. For a cold start you need to pull out but I will recommend it in and then start the engine. Here we have uh, silicon feeds at four corners to absorb any movement and then you need uh, to pull the pull starter. connect so many devices, power tools, appliances, starting with this uh, soldering iron, maximum, glue hot gun, you can uh, listen the sound how it's changing when I'm connecting more devices, my smartphone I can charge, my battery for my power tools charging and I can connect this blender it is uh, 650 watts some of my studio lights Alexa turn on uh, office creator there it is again so many devices I like that <laughs> it is hot Charging I 
I will connect the vacuum cleaner. The power consumption is 800 watts. You can hear every time I turn on the vacuum, the generator increases the power output. We can see from the app the exact power consumption when it is connected to my grid. Now obviously is on the generator. It is very easy to fill with oil and petrol and then start the engine. You can use it in an emergency, when the power is off, on a building site for your power tools, in a remote location where there is no power. It provides a stable power output wherever you go so you never have to worry about your equipment. I'm not going to lie, the noise is not something you want to hear for a long time, so find a place away from you and use this generator. And of course the amount of time it will run on a full tank depends on the generator's output load. Some tips, you should have the following in mind for the connected cables. The total length of the cable should not exceed 60 meters for a cross section of 1.5 square millimeters and 100 meters for a cross section of 2.5 square millimeters. For just 199 euros, you can have this generator and enjoy electricity wherever you are. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.